Beaky, what is this place? Got me! Hello there, and I would like to now start showing you how to get through this game. Since I got through it once, I cannot do it again. And I, I had to upload just a joke video since I just got stuck and couldn't get any through. And I now had to get through and I know I can actually save pretty easily now, so I will be able to get through this pretty easily. There's that giant weird monster coming right all going on trying to get those wheel creatures. Uh, you're not getting anywhere. You're going in my mouth. No. Time to take a shit. Is there going to be something at all? Oh god! Well that's scary. Anything else? Anything else? Is that pretty much it? Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, now it's time to just... Now it's time to move on. So yeah, that's just pretty much just a silly thing you can do. Alright, I know how to get, get through here, that so, but if you really need to use a head, just go ahead and click on these statues here. A ghost will appear and tell you a specific thing, you can keep clicking it until it loops. Now so pretty much you just, important. yeah, this thing is definitely important. It will open a door you really need, and remember, okay, if any of you played The Neverhood, this is a game where you need a pencil and paper, literally. Because you need to write practically anything down you find, or else you're not going to be able to remember. Now these yes, okay. These things here that's appearing right now, that symbol, write it down. That's very important. That's very important for the end of the game. So let's do that. After drawing that down, or writing whatever it down, change to beat bake and go through this hole. Now, for those that don't really know how this is going on and how you're actually playing, for those that are new to this type of genre of video games, this is a point-and-click adventure puzzle game. The Neverhood was pretty much the first of this type of particular kind, because of being all done in stop-motion claymation. And now, this is one of the other things you need to write down. This thing right here. There's three you need to find. Just like the two things you need to find in another hood in order to use the cannon. Because I've played through the neighborhood a bunch of times and I know the whole thing through in and out. Alright, now after doing that, that's pretty much all you need in this room and you can just go back. And that little swirly thing I picked up, that's a switch. Like a... Those can be practically any item, and it's pretty much how Big Peak sees items. Since he's pretty much not able to see any items anymore. Now, let's back up. I got something you can use for the puzzle right here. That's going on right now. Let's climb over this thing. Now, put in the switch. Now after doing that, come back in here and start moving. Let's 
And there we go, now we can move on. And I do have a plan for this playthrough of the game. I'm going to be possibly saving from time to time whenever Ooh, I enter a new room. Smells like bacon in here. So, yeah, I'm going to be saving right now just so nothing bad will happen. Because with this, you're going to have to save pretty much constantly. Because this game is pretty new, so there may be glitches here and there. So you better be careful. So, save often. Now, this is something that's pretty going to be pretty silly, so I'm going to be quiet for this. Greetings, friend. I am Abraham Lincoln. What Abraham Lincoln said there is something that's very important for another puzzle. Now, those symbols that were that the symbol we just saw. That's part of this specific puzzle. You need three, so yeah, you're gonna have to find those and write them all down. <laughs> okay, now move on up. Whatever happened here, it was not good. Now I'm gonna see again. Very good. Move back on up. Well, you can go farther up. And it's pretty much uh, how far you can get with this specific elevator tentacle. Here's the switch you're gonna need. What do we have here? Now that we got that, get on there, Tommy Knot. Now, so to put in that switch. Alright. Now, just like the first, like, never game and probably the second, the music is made by Terry S. Taylor. And I love that person. He is amazing at making music. And all the characters made by Doug Tenable, creator of Earthworm Jim, and pretty much even more popular. Now here we are, there's one of the other symbols you're gonna need to write down. Oops, shield and something. Alright, now with this tentacle you're gonna have to click on it as beep beep and you'll be able to talk to it. And Ah, Deneva. So right now, I can't understand what the hell this is. I don't Power source. So he just comes in, laps the wall, and decides, hey, I'm gonna crawl on through and kill the fucking father. Yeah, nice job. The 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 
And sooner or later, we will be able to find a switch that will change all what they're saying into English. So, right now, we will just have to deal with their own language. Alright, beep beep, time to go back and vomit that up. <laughs> vomit it up, pal. <laughs> And that's what these, these specific things are for. They're for these specific machines you find throughout the game. And you're unable to push the button that, that are that low. Only Beak Beak can. And there we go. And those unlock specific things. Like, it unlocks that door. But we can't do anything in there for now. Until the end of the game. So we have to just move along and get on over here. Yeah, and that specific button that you saw light that up actually lowers something in this specific room. So yeah, very important for the end. Let's go in here. And here's a cutscene that, that can be played over and over again. I've seen it happen to me a lot, so you're gonna have to be careful about it. Because I'm not sure if it'll glitch up the game or it's just like uh <laughs> if you wanna see the What was that? Game. Yeah, pretty much uh the baby that you saw in the in the possibly saw in the intro or no, no, it's you a, don't see it yet. It's a baby. And what what those squids say, but I think it's at least in the second or third one. Can you imagine the wandering monsters this, this thing is attracting? The dog just say of the two people that were attacked by Vogna. So Tommy, Tommy, yeah. don't touch that thing. You don't know where it's been. Whatever, Beak Beak, it's a baby. Yeah, I decided to put a pen of bio joke, so what? <laughs> if that's the name. Key? Okay. Nice to get to say some letters. There you go. Tommy Knot has you now. I'll take care of you until we can figure out how to get you back to where you belong. Definitely. Having a lost child must suck ass. Now here's something I didn't see my first time. So yeah, I was a complete dumbo. <laughs> That can happen when you first play these happy games. You really have to be very observant in order to... Oh, it's crying. And this may happen a couple times, but it's pretty easy to do this over and over again if you know how to do it. Now, if any of you saw my video, at the end, it was pretty much <laughs> pretty fun. I decided to put a little joke at the end since I got stuck in. I now know now that you shouldn't be taking all of these down and trying to rearrange them. Pretty much almost all of them are already in the right place. You just have to put the ones in that you, you, you have to put in the right place. Cause, yeah. I fucked up. I fucked that up, which was stupid. Duh. I'm gonna take them all down and try to rearrange it all. Wait. I thought that they were supposed to be what they looked like in the background. <laughs> Which I have to say is pretty friggin' stupid, so I was always wondering, why isn't it working, why isn't it working, why isn't it working? <laughs> and there's pretty three variants of this song that I'll play throughout the game. This is the first variant, and there's a second and third, so, yeah. Alright, every time you do this with that little kid... <clears throat> after it calms down, that comes back down, and... You see a little bit of the power source here. Well, that was board. interesting. And there we go. Now, after doing all of that, where can we go? Well, keep on going forward. There's nothing else to do here. That leads to a dead end. But. You can set it up so you can use it for the rest of the game. 
you don't have to do it. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be rotating it until it does the little thing to have the thing light up. There we go. Set up. And now, time to move on. That switch we got is for this thing. And since we have the power set up, this happens. And this. Wow, yeah, this is anyway, great. <laughs> If anyone has seen the Neverhood, you will recognize this already. It's like the claw carts. <laughs> Except it has a bit more physics added to it. Whee! Like this. This is the last one of those that you need. And just so that you will know. These specific things are randomized. So you can't just look at my game and go through it. Just like how I am. It's pretty much... There's puzzles that are randomized. But specific ones, I know, aren't randomized. And just like in the neighborhood, you can't only really go fast with this thing. Because it can be very finicky and you'll be screwing around and screwing crap up, but now... Just about three of those. We can now go back down to Amber and Lincoln. And do that little thing we saw. Here we are. All right. Now, let's see. Where could those specifics get up? There it is. There we go. Last one. There you go. I'm not sure what this thing is. It's this. It's pretty much like a friggin' hamster wheel. But you can tell which orientation you have to go just by looking at these things. And you have to do it correctly or you're just gonna screw everything up. What are they? Dozens? This is one of the puzzles that's not randomized. It stays the same all the time. Go. Ooh, move on. No, no, no! Don't go back down. Up, oh, Tommy, not. Oh, get off. Alright, this is where I'm going to end things here. I will be doing the specific things to say.